Hello friends, this is Rupesh and you are watching CPP Nets video series on C++ and in this video we will be learning about reinterpret cast and this cast is used for casting one pointer data type to another pointer data type okay and it is a little dangerous cast and we will see why so let's read out this one it can perform dangerous conversions because it can type cast any pointer to any uh, another pointer okay so as you can see here there is this banana and mango and now I'm forcefully not forcefully actually it is just a message to the compiler that now onwards you will be treating this address as banana address and this address is mango okay so it's very simple message to the compiler that please trust me what I'm doing I know what I'm doing so please do what I want okay so it will simply convert that so if you will compile it let's compile this and if you are running see it has compiled okay and if you will run this let's run this code and don't be surprised see eating banana so actually you are having mango object type cast it into banana and now you are calling eating banana which is this one and it is calling why it is calling the reason is whenever compiler sees okay you are calling some function like this one on this object so what compiler does compiler just simply change this line into something else and that something else will look like this banana eat banana and here the address of new banana will go okay so if it is pointer this will directly go okay and let's suppose if you are passing some parameters like 1 comma 2 maybe it is taking some parameters here then things would look like this comma 1 comma 2 okay and now you'll be thinking that the type mismatch will come because here three parameters are there and here only two parameters will be there like integer a comma integer b but no whenever you are writing something like this and giving declaration and definition like this compiler changes your classes also so compiler will make it look like this const banana this pointer so do you remember you always get this pointer in your class so this is how you get it okay I mean in your functions okay and this is how you get it so I think I'm going off topic so let's come back and uh, remove everything and this was the first point I wanted to discuss and first point is it is dangerous you can see it is dangerous okay right now we are not having any data member in banana and mango so it's okay otherwise it will be a really dangerous task okay trust me so this is where you should not use a reinterpret cast okay and I mean obviously you should never be doing dangerous stuff in programming until unless you really know what you're doing okay so let's look at the second point now second point is really very good point I like that point why we use reinterpret cast and this is the reason for that let's suppose you have some class or struct in C++ doesn't matter because the only difference is public okay by default struct members and inheritance are public that's the only difference so this is your struct we have the values here now let's suppose there is an API like this or just forget about the APIs you can do something like this integer pointer p is equal to reinterpret cast into integer pointer and give the address of s okay if we will compile this code this code is going to compile see so what we are actually doing is we have this s which is holding one two three four four bytes so i'll draw a diagram for you it will be a little easier for us so as we know that this is a struct this will be taking four bytes this will be taking four bytes and in conjunction these two will fit in four byte okay and why 444 if you don't know what is structural padding and packing 
please search in my channel you will get that video for that or maybe i'll include that in my description field or you can search in youtube my my video is only coming on the top so let's draw this here so we have one struct and three part so this is from 0 to 3 4 to 7 and 8 to 11 okay 4 4 bytes 4 4 and 4 in first 4 byte we have x in second 4 byte we have y in third 4 byte as third 4 byte is having these two and character can fit in in one byte so first byte of this will be a character let's call that c here and second byte will be boolean so boolean and rest of the two bytes will be empty okay so this is how it would look like so now come back to the code and try to print few things like if you will print this one p let's see what answer you will get you are getting five so what you did you said okay compiler i want to treat this address as it is integer pointer okay and now you're going to print that so what ultimately it is trying to do is this will start from here so this is the base address whatever the address is let's call this a zeroth address then this zeroth address will be typecasted into integer pointer here okay so if you will print that compiler knows very well how to print a four byte memory so it will come here it will take initial four bytes and whatever the value is on that four byte it will just simply print here okay now do one thing you just increment it plus plus now you print and you will not be surprised i know because it will print 10 so see we had kept 5 and 10 so it is printing 10 why it is printing 10 we know if it is integer pointer integer pointer i mean integer has 4 bytes so it will be incremented by 4 byte so before it was pointing in the beginning of p which is nothing but s so before it was pointing here now it is pointing here okay so that's why if you are printing after p plus plus it will be printing 10 so up to now it was okay but if you will give one more increment you will come to this position okay c and b position so if you will try to print that you will be surprised let's do this p plus plus and this print again see some value okay 5 10 were okay but 2 6 2 1 is not what we wanted so what is happening here the thing is your computer i mean compiler is taking full 4 byte because you are taking the help of integer pointer here see p is integer pointer so if you are printing p and dereferencing that it knows it is pointing to a 4 byte memory area so compiler is taking 4 byte full 4 byte from here to here and whatever the value i mean bit patterns like 0 1 1 0 1 0 0 1 it is getting it will just convert that into integer and it is printing so you end up getting this one now how to get that so here comes the real beauty you know that after this p plus plus you are pointing at this location okay the beginning of this location c okay now you know this initial first byte is of type character okay so do one thing type cast it back to the character so reinterpret cast care pointer and remove this one and let's not do this better character pointer c and we can just print this by dereferencing this c here okay now if you will run see you have got your a here 
so this C was holding A here we can see now if you want another pointer here you have this character pointer and if you will increase character pointer this one that will get incremented by one it means it will go to ninth position right now you are pointing at eight position 0 to 3 4 to 7 then 8 to 12 so right now you are at eighth position now let's go to ninth position by just incrementing c so c plus plus oh c plus plus and okay wait a minute instead of doing all these things we can just simply use this one reinterpret cast character pointer and plus plus c okay it will give you one let's check that uh oh it is giving you something else oh yeah because that type is not character type that is a boolean type so let's convert that into bool type and then try to print see it is printing one so until unless we type cast it back to the actual pointer or to actual data type you cannot use that properly and that's what we saw here okay so i think i have made my points now let's look at the bottom lines we always got the bottom line maybe i have not included everything i don't know if i miss something you please comment it will be really helpful for others okay so read out bottom lines are the result of a read read cast cannot safely be used for anything other than being cast back its original type and we saw that here okay and we should be very careful when using this cast yeah this is a very true statement because you might end up messing up with your stuff okay and if we use this type of cast then it becomes non portable what is this non portable product non portable means you cannot take this project and run for any another cpu architecture computer architecture and all that because now here we are dealing with bit patterns there is no abstraction between hardware and software you are directly going to access the hardware you are going byte by byte see here so if your hardware is treating differently i mean whatever the code you have written your hardware can treat this differently okay uh, and the difference could be uh, i don't know let me tell you that here we are having 444 your hardware i mean whatever another architecture or what you are using that can take 4 4 bytes okay and if you wanted to access this boolean you would have done like this but in this case you will end up accessing some garbage value which will be coming from somewhere around here okay because this is x this is y and here in first byte c second byte boolean sorry boolean is not here boolean is here and in our previous code like this you were thinking boolean is here okay so mismatch happens like this in hardware side so that's why this reinterpret cast is not good when you plan for porting your project okay so we have almost completed our four cast like static cast dynamic cast reinterpret cast and const cast now i was planning to give the difference between all cast like what is the difference between static and dynamic so if you will know the difference you will directly decide where to use what okay but that would take a little time because that was not in my schedule okay so we'll see the differences in upcoming videos bye bye